Hi everybody, this is David with David's Tutorials and today I want to tell you about a little disaster we may have had over the weekend. Very small disaster, not a big one, but I'm sure all of you have probably faced this yourself. If you've done any cooking at all, then you've probably encountered getting grease stains on the outside of some stainless steel cookware. Well yesterday was Mother's Day and my son and I decided we were going to fix dinner. We were going to fix Mother's Day dinner for my wife and his wife and they won't have to do any work and so we did. We fixed a Mother's Day dinner that they both thought was really good. We fixed them steak and broccoli and yam strings. Now if you want to hear more about the way I fix steak, let me know in the comments. If you want to hear what yam strings are, these are my own invention. Let me know in the comments. They could be the topic of a future video. But for now, I want to tell you what happened with our small disaster. One of the things we fixed, the yam strings, are deep fried. We fixed these yam strings in a small but deep pot. Here it is. This is the pot I used. When we deep fried them, they bubbled up and it went over the edge and went down to where the burner was heating up the edge of the pot. You can see how the bottom of the pot got all stained with burned on grease while we were cooking the yam strings. Now this is a really nice pot and I don't like having these stains on it. So how can I get the stains off? What I did to get these stains off is probably what all of you have done many times in the past. Go to YouTube, look it up. Just as you have found, I found a whole bunch of videos that tell me what not to do. I don't need to know what not to do, I need to know what to do. I found a few things that look promising, so I'm going to try those things and I'm going to come back and tell you what I found that works. Stay tuned. Tried one of these things, scrubbed it. Tried this thing with soap, that didn't work. Tried this thing with a soft cleaner, this is Barkeeper's Friend with a scrubbing pad. That didn't work either. Some of the things to keep in mind when you're thinking about getting baked on grease off of a pan are there's really only two ways you can do it. You can either use a chemical to dissolve the grease, soap, or some other sort of acid such as the acetic acid in vinegar, or you can use some other chemical to dissolve it, or you can scour it off with an abrasive. This is a scratch pad like a Brillo pad or an SOS pad or a scrub bud. You can use an abrasive such as soft scrub or barkeeper's friend. That's a cream with a fine grit abrasive in it. You could even use something like polishing compound for your car. What method you use to clean the burned on grease off of your pan depends on the finish of the pan and how well you want to maintain the appearance of that finish. It depends on how much elbow grease you're willing to put into it and it depends on what kind of chemical you're willing to use. If you want to use a chemical to dissolve it, you've got to be very careful that the chemical is either non-toxic or you're in a very well ventilated area. There are people in the videos online that I've seen that have used oven cleaner, there are people who have used carburetor cleaner, there are people who have used other sorts of really toxic chemicals that I would not want to use inside the house. Some of them work well, some of them didn't work very well. I did not like the oven cleaner even though it worked very well because it kind of eats up the finish on the outside and if you want to maintain a pretty finish on the outside of your pan, then you can use oven cleaner but be aware it will probably destroy the finish of that pan and it won't be as shiny as it was before. With that in mind, I'm trying a mild chemical to dissolve it. What I'm trying as I'm recording this is vinegar and water. Now vinegar is an acid, it's acetic acid, it's a very mild acid. It should eat through that grease that's baked on. One video I found, the lady who did it said the vinegar worked the best for her of all the methods she tried. She only tried three methods. She just tried boiling dish soap in her pan. She tried vinegar and baking soda without boiling it and she tried vinegar and water and boiling it and the vinegar and water worked the best. But this was for food that was inside the pan, not for burned on grease that was on the outside of the pan. Let me check that vinegar and water boiling mixture and we'll see how that's working.
here we are with the pot boiling inside another pot and as you get a little closer to this I'm going to focus in here on the water and hopefully you'll be able to see there are little beads of grease floating up in the water. Oh, got my camera lens all foggy there. Let's try this. There you can see little beads of grease floating on that water. That means there is some grease coming off of it. We're going to let it boil five minutes and see what happens. Okay, let's see if this did any good at all. We have boiled the pot inside another pot. Since it's been boiling, it's hot, and I don't want to burn my hands with that. Looks like we still have the burned material on there. Let's see if we can get it off. Maybe if that boiling took some of the starch out of the burned on. Here's some barkeeper's friend on a nylon scouring pad on the back of a sponge. Let's see what happens. It's kind of warm. Ha-ha! That is it. It's coming right off. Not totally. It's going to take a little bit more elbow grease to get all this off. But all it's taking is a little bit of elbow grease, boil it to soften it. Take a look at that. You can see a lot of that grease is gone already. At this point in the cleaning process, at first I was deciding I was going to go ahead and continue to scrub. And then I figured, no, this is just too much work. So I thought about it for a moment and I figured out it took a long time for that grease to bake onto the pot. It would probably take an even longer time for the vinegar to work on it and for it to come out. So I put the two pots aside, leaving the small pot in the big pot, sitting in the vinegar water solution, and I let it soak overnight. Okay, we're going to test out the soaking overnight in vinegar water theory. It already looks like it has diminished somewhat. We're going to try warm water and barkeeper's friend. It's working, but not super easy. What I'm looking for is something that's super easy, of course. It is getting them off. It's just taking a little bit more elbow grease than I am happy with. I can see that it left some little swirly scratches in the stainless steel, and I'm not happy with that. I could get some polishing compound and get those scratches out, but I'm not sure it's worth that much effort. After all, it's just a cooking pot. And what's the goal of a cooking pot? The goal is to cook. Well, there we have it. The pot is clean. All of the stains are gone, and we are good to go for the next round of cooking. So there you have it. I was unable to find the magic solution that would make the baked on grease on the outside of that pot just float away. But I did find out that boiling it in a vinegar water solution for five minutes and then letting it sit overnight and then scrubbing it made it come off the easiest of any of the methods that I found. I hope this has helped you, and if it did, give us a big thumbs up, recommend it to your friends, share it, and hit that subscribe button to be notified when we post another great new tutorial from David's Tutorial.